This is the follow-up video to the Polish Lynx uh, AK from WBP that I've been working on. Uh, it looks really different from the uh, previous videos that I've made, but like any fun gun project, it's kind of a work in progress as uh, needs and wants change. Um, one of the main driving forces behind this was one of my YouTube commenters named Aaron Dutcher. A great guy sent me a picture of uh, what he had done with his, and I said, that's it. You know, it's, the gun was just beautiful, so I had to... Uh, Change some things. Uh, started with this four end. It's a Magpul MOE, and uh, it's very similar to a stock that I run on my Remington 870. Uh, it's the MOE AKM version. You're going to want that because it has a cutout for your forward slide, uh, forward sling attachment. And um, back here in the back, went with an SBA3 tactical brace. Um, I saw that on Aaron's gun, and uh, it looked really good. It kind of matches the lines. Of the gun better and it has the added benefit of being collapsible uh, it still folds to the side just like the uh, previous tail hook brace but uh, i think it actually has a better cheek weld back here in the back when you're shooting it just feels more comfortable and um, like i said the uh, stock folds up just like that uh, really nicely along the side and this uh, Stormworks uh, folding brace is loosened up some, so it's a little bit easier to work with as well. Um, the next thing I did was, uh, when I was looking at Aaron's gun, uh, he had got this beautiful Cerakote job on there, like a burnt bronze. I looked into the price of that, and uh, it was kind of expensive. I thought I'd take my chances and go with uh, just a Krylon rattle can job. And I think it turned out looking pretty good. I uh, just went with a dark gray here and kind of a charcoal for some of the furniture. Um, it kind of remains to be seen how it will hold up over time to uh, heat and wear and tear, but uh, at least it'll be easy to touch up if the paint flakes off or whatever. And if nothing else, I can strip it off and start over again. Uh, internally, I changed out the recoil spring to one from Geisley. Uh, I think it's a little bit heavier spring. Um, I think that'll change up the recoil impulse a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. If it, uh, if it affects functionality, I can always uh, take it out and swap it out with the stock version. <clears throat> I've still not put any lube in this gun uh, since I cleaned it out as soon as I got it. Um, it's got about 400 rounds down the pipe. Uh, by the end of the day, we should have about 600 through there. And uh, at that point, if it's still running 100% reliable, uh, I'll grease up the internals in there and call it good. Uh, for all the AK purists out there uh, who wear t-shirts that say, Nyet, rifle is fine. Uh, I hear you. Uh, I absolutely love the uh, look and feel and styling of a uh, original AK. Uh, this is my Wasser. Uh, it is still the rifle that I would reach for. Uh, it's uh, the most reliable gun that I own and uh, absolutely love it. But there is something to be said for making mod modifications that kind of uh, bring this rifle, uh, and make it a little bit more shootable and uh, give it some modularity. And... Uh, yeah, we're going to see how it does today. The main goal for today is to check the zero at 25 yards because I did have to take the optic off to spray paint it. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, do some shooting today and see how it works out. All right, we're going to check that zero at 25 yards. Do yourself a favor. Do your ears a favor. Make sure you double up on hearing protection. All right, looks like that shot is off by just a little bit. I'm gonna run down range and uh, measure it and uh, see if we can get that zeroed. Well, so far the paint job and the uh, spring that I added to it didn't seem to affect function at all. We've got a bunch of targets down here that are scattered between uh, 60 yards and uh, 125 yards. We're just going to have fun and uh, go down there and lay down some of this steel like you can only do with the AK.
with that 25 yard zero, I noticed that I had to aim pretty low at 60 yards because the bullet's still on its way up. Same goes for 75. Well, this is the first time we've got it uh, really up to temperature, and it seems like uh, some of that paint may be cooking off a little bit. It's actually holding up fairly well, though. It's had about a month to cure, so hopefully it'll hold up. So I recently purchased two 40-round magazines, so I had to duct tape them together jungle style. We're really going to uh, get this polish links up to temperature by uh, emptying both of these 40 round mags into this creek here. That was a lot of fun. But uh, I think we might be uh, smoking our paint job a little bit there. I don't think that paint is made to uh, take that much heat. And uh, it's getting a little bit tacky. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And the uh, two Romanian 40 round magazines worked perfectly. And uh, it's a great way to get a lot of firepower down around fast. All right, just to wrap this video up, uh, went through 730 rounds total, about uh, 300 or so uh, just yesterday. Uh, didn't have any malfunctions whatsoever. Uh, did have a problem with bump firing with this uh, Geisley uh, AKT trigger. Uh, sometimes when I was trying to make really precise shots, um, this gun's empty. You would notice that uh, the uh, sear would reset while it was recoiling. Uh, I'll loop that in at the end of the video. Uh, some also, the dot optic came loose. Uh, that was my fault. That's something I get on the people for all the time is not putting Loctite on their uh, sights. I did put uh, some on there, but evidently not enough. But uh, it made it work its way loose. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of beating around that goes with AKs. So uh, just put more Loctite on there, uh, screwed it down harder than I had it on there before and uh, now it feels pretty solid. Um, I was gonna put a rear sight on here. I'm just kind of dishing that idea. I noticed that at 25 yards, I was able to uh, get shots within about four inches of what I was aiming at at 25 yards just by putting the front sight post in the very bottom of the sight picture that I have with the uh, red dot optic. So that's good enough for me for now until somebody comes up with something that will uh, fit on there. 
Uh, I cleaned it, which for me with an AK is just kind of wiping everything and down with a rag and uh, putting some grease on the internals and on the rails. And uh, yeah, now it feels really smooth and uh, it's good to go. Thanks.